website, abcactionnews.com. Well, today we're getting our first up-close look at the redesigned Coachman Park in Clearwater. Yeah, it's a project the mayor says will kickstart a redevelopment boom in downtown. Reporter Eric Waxler taking us on a tour tonight. Two weeks from now, the rock group Cheap Trick will take the stage at the brand new amphitheater called The Sound. And with it, a redesigned Coachman Park opens to the public in downtown Clearwater. I'm so excited to watch it come alive with the people and the visitors of Clearwater. Catherine Cochran has been part of the design team from the beginning. The idea first came uh, into existence a little less than a decade ago. So this has been a long time coming and this is you know more than we could have ever dreamed of. It's come together beautifully. The struggle to transform this waterfront location has gone on for decades. But Clearwater's mayor says the $84 million facelift will give people a reason to come here. Especially to connect our beach with the ferry service from the beach. We are now going to be interconnected with our tourism industry and our folks that want to get off the beach for a day, give them something else to do. And I really, and I think it's going to be a catalytic project for downtown. The Sound has covered seating for 4,000 people and lawn space for another 5,000. And the park has lots of open space for events and places to admire that intercoastal view. Whether or not there's a concert going on, all those spaces are remaining totally open. We have a lot of family friendly areas, a splash pad, playground, picnic pavilions, walking paths plazas for things like farmers markets and art shows and all kinds of stuff like that. Well, I've been fortunate to travel the world. I've never seen anything like this on a waterfront with so many different features for everybody. There is more new development to come here. There are also plans for a hotel, apartments and a parking garage. In Clearwater, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.